Welcome back, and dear friends, it's me, Odor. I'm back in my campaign of Pathfinder Kingmaker. Uh, last time we found an ancient rock. Where is this path going? Somewhere. Like, really somewhere. Random encounter. Continue. Ooh. Just as we turn toward Barnhold, ah, <laughs> and into a patrol. Okay. To learn the reason for such often. Uh, blah, blah, blah. We, we know that. We turned back. We don't want to go to Barnhold. Okay, so in this this region we can't go. Ah, uh, yeah, let's let's rest. You smell like a warm bed, cozy home, and food cooked by someone else. What the hell are you doing out here? Civilization has made you too weak. Did it? But smart, the smartest. I'm weaker than a bear. But I'm smarter. Meanwhile, you're about equal to a bear on both counts. <laughs> That's so so cool. <laughs> I really like to be lost. He's he's great. Okay. We found out there is nowhere to go. Okay, there we go. There, but this is not in our province. Let's go home. Mm-hmm. Where is our castle? Here it is. <clears throat> Let's travel there. Yeah, I did. Whatever it is. We are fully charged and... Um... Do you? Who? A cultist? Why are there some cultists? Valerie. Really, the attack Ekundayo. He won't escape traitor. Mm -hmm. The five footstep. Oh no, they are not attacking Ekondayo, they are attacking me. That's not nice. Hello? Too bad. Yeah, anyway. Let's kill these guys. First one dead. Good. Wait, what was that? That's the prayer. Oh, 
Oh, there's an owl bear. Really? Let's take a five foot step away. This one is still flat. It's... Yeah, let's attack this one then. This was that. So now, dog, kill. Okay. Interesting. Why was this Alba not in the fight first? Fifty points of damage. Ah, oh, he rolled a twenty. So it was a critical hit. Level fourteen. Wow, that's a big beast. Stab their backs. But easy to hit anyway. Okay, let's just do a prayer. Yep. I aim true. In the old bear, take everything. Leave behind anything left nope okay let's go then mm-hmm Let's continue the way. Another random encounter. Hmm. Shall we? Yeah. Why, why not? Let's fight it. It's not okay. There are so many monsters on our streets. They should have known better. And bandits are really, really. Easy to kill. Cover me. I grant your death. Ah, oh, interesting. To become an owl bear after being killed. Ah, this is the curse. I can't remember. There was something.
Okay. Okay, what to do with you? Let's just move into the middle and for the best. Your death awaits. Mm -hmm. I think this one is the most dangerous. He took a lot of hits. Yeah. Also now they are shooting at Valerie. This doesn't do any damage or harm. Interesting. If someone of my part is in the way, it doesn't matter if he's not directly in front of this guy. Um, yeah, let's do another pass. Why not? And that's that. And let's just move out. This was the same encounter as before. Connect and leave. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Interesting. Probably they will tell me this when we get home into the castle. Really? Another one? Yeah, let's fight. Fine. If it's the same encounter as before, then at least we have a few. Yeah, it's also cool, this, isn't it? Yep. Ah, this one is stunned. Mm-hmm. I should have just put down on him. Stupid me. Just attack the owl bear. Come on, Nikondayo. You can do this. Mm 
TCP. Let's just do a fireball. A control fireball. Nice and brutal. No. Can you please charge? No, you can't. Stay behind me. Okay, then at least go in front of the owl bear. <clears throat> hey. Can you please not kill the dog? I mean, as the <clears throat> as we are asked if we want to leave something behind, let's do it like that. And leave. Up. <clears throat> Okay, there's my daughter on the phone. Okay, let's move on. Yay! We can get there without having to having to rest again. Like, um, if we go to the main square, we could. Right now, yeah, let's do this before going to the throne room. Who claims the land, claims its pain and its death, mad prophet. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay, uh, it's still a dirty stinking asshole. Let's see what you have. Give him everything that we can't use anyway for something. And then... Let's see, we've got a lot of stuff. What? Um, a K 
Chaos Shard Dagger will keep the cat dagger. Is it one handed? Yep. We'll probably give this to Arim. <clears throat> Okay, it's gone. Let's see, uh, level one natural armor. I, I don't think that we need these two. Uh, probably the, the amulet. I'm pretty sure I don't need the belt. Mm hmm. Yeah, well then. Let's steal this. Arim, my good dwarf. How about you? Ah, oh, you can't take this weapon. Interesting. Why can't you take this? Because it's a trident. Ah, oh, interesting. Yeah, then let's sell it. Who needs a trident? There are no people on the gallows, so it works. You don't have to kill too many. Come on, 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 come on. Faster, 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 faster. Ah. Oh. Willis Gunderson. A plump man in his thirties approaches you. His hair's untidy road dust covers his worn clothes, and his boots have seen better days. The stranger speaks to you in unusual, high-pitched voice. Your Grace, I demand justice. <clears throat> high-pitched. Crime in the barony is on the rise. The man shakes his clenched fists, then drops his hands helplessly. In open daylight, I was trick dropped, and if that weren't enough, humiliated. You are humiliated by my interpretation of your voice. <laughs> A gang of local thugs tricked me into trusting them. They found out about my possessions and disappeared with my treasures. I sent them to the island of on Candlemere some time ago, and they just vanished into thin air. Ah, I know about that. He's a grave robber. Because we read about that. You don't seem like a local. Why would you keep these possessions of yours on the island in the middle of the Candlemere Lake? Good question, your lord. With a spite's his lips, as if caught doing something wrong. Well, um, you see, these aren't exactly my possessions right now. It's just I learned from the locals about the ruins of an ancient temple on the island. And everyone knows where there's a temple, there's always the hope of some treasure. Oh, he doesn't even know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you believe that some sacred relics from the temple of an unknown deity belong to you. By what right? Good question. Oh, Lord. My lady. By the right of finding, I dug up all the stories about the temple. I hired the crew. I pointed out where to start the search. Besides, no harm done. No one ever really goes there anyway. 
there aren't many volunteers willing to visit a cursed island. Yeah, we were there already. Noticing the change in your face, Widows restrained themselves. Whoops, I'm just talking gibberish. Heard some gossip somewhere and here I am spitting it all on you. <laughs> the man utters a phony giggle then gulps. Nothing, your grace. Just a big fat load of nothing. Some empty talk about someone sacrificing someone else there. And as for the ghostly lights, I'm sure it's a rational explanation for that. Same with the flashlight over the ruins. <clears throat> Which deity was the temple dedicated to? We have to talk to him much longer. You mentioned the flash of light over the ruins. I don't know. Let's let's ask for the date first. Who cares? Villas interrupts himself and sighs. I don't know. I I thought you you found out everything about this island, and then you don't even know which deity was. Ah, this is so inconsistent. You're so stupid, boy. I never asked. All I heard is that long ago the locals used to perform some rituals there dedicated to some ancient deity. Some rituals? Some ancient deities? How? Now that's what I call getting into details. <laughs> He's telling the same as I'm doing. Ah, good. Chubilos, you're great. With deep knowledge like that, you could easily write a book. You could call this opus magnum of yours some encyclopedia. <laughs> you are great. Uh, someone offered sacrifices there, and I suppose we're not talking about animal sacrifices. Willow shrugs reluctantly. The locals say things. Something about that being why. The place is cursed. What ghostly lights are you talking about? The lights are strange, you know? They were brighter than fireflies and different colors. You can see them even from the shore during the day. They are barely visible. But at night, people say they are the rest of the soul of those who met their deaths on the island. Okay. Fail the knowledge arcana check. Yeah, we know what it is. We know that they are um, widow wisps. Dangerous, brutal. I hate them all, widow wisps. You mentioned the flash of light over the ruins. Did you see it with your own eyes or just hear about it from someone else? I saw it with my own eyes. Ah, ja, jetzt plötzlich. And just recently. Almost blinded me, like half the island suddenly burst into flames. When the locals saw it, they fell to their knees and started to pray. They said that the old guy had returned. We lost the scoffs. Dimwits, what else would you expect from them? Says the king of dimwits. Thank you, we lost. Uh, thank you, we lost. <laughs> I guess that's all I need to know about this island. Whatever you say, my Baroness. Who are you? Villas Gunderson, your grace, I'm a scientist. Scientist? An explorer, an adventurer, and a renowned expert in treasures and artifacts of virtually every area and culture. Okay. Jubilos eyes Vedas up and down. So many titles for a single piece of mediocrity. <laughs> Vedas blushes and pretends that he n just noticed the gnome. So not trouble. You are here. What a nice surprise. Oh, really? In case you hadn't noticed, I've been here from the start, or perhaps after the open lecture in the Foray Logos in Absalom. You've lost not only the rest of your mind, but also your eyesight. Midas straightens his jacket indignantly, 
and lifts his chin. I see your manners haven't improved since last we met. Well, happily I no longer consider you a beacon of knowledge. You once were. You can choke however you like. I'm above such discourse. Okay. Jubilos screams. The only thing that puts you above me is your size, Veda. And even that isn't so impressive for a human. <laughs> Middle's face, face turns dark red and his eye starts to twitch, pressing his lips tightly. He turns back to you. There were a trio I hired to retrieve my possession from Candlemere's Island. Turned out to be a bunch of tricksters. You must know the place in the center of the lake with the ancient temple ruins. So they took my money, jumped into the boat, and whoosh! Gone with the wind. So many days have passed, and not a single word from them. And they have had the nerve to call themselves a paladin and a cleric. Scum is what they are real, they really are. Midas stamps the ground in anger. Can you tell me more about them? Ranger paladin of Irori and a cleric of Netis. You know that two-faced god? Frankly speaking, the one gave me creeps from her from the very beginning. Half of those servants of Netis are real psychos. Today they agree to help you and tomorrow they change their minds as they at the drop of a hat. And this one played his tricks on me too. Then and a cleric who willingly took a job running errands for you? Sounds strange, if you ask me. Milos mulls over your words for some time. You know, Your Grace, when I mentioned the old temple, they exchanged a glance, like I was talking about some hidden treasure. I was such a fool. I should have realized from the start that they had their own agenda. Let's go back to my other questions. I need someone to show me the way. Would you come with me? Willis looks around scared. Wait, me? Come with you? No way. Three armed men went and never came back. And I can't even swing a sword. Or cast a simple spell. Oh no, your grace. You'll need to find someone more experienced for that. Fagging. Oh. Typical for Master Gunderson. I wouldn't be surprised if, after this conversation, our poor timid friend will need a companion to guide him to his own door. Yeah, I have to go. Okay. Do we really have to keep up with such stupid idiots? I'll depart fast. Spare me a few minutes. You're the ruler of these lands, and I don't dare tell you what to do, but I just can't stand silently and watch what's happening behind your back. Really? Behind my back? There are rumors on the streets of a savage goddess, enraged by your appearance in her lands. They say she cursed you. And now you bring woo and death to everyone around you. This used to be just idle talk. But now, when we are surrounded by so much death and suffering, the people are ready to truly believe it. And it seems that someone is playing upon your subjects here. I saw Barkers in the streets telling citizens a prophet is building his own kingdom. According to them, the goddess stands ready to grant forgiveness to any who cleanse themselves of the curse. But this cleansing is accomplished through terrible, cruel death. Tristan gulps heavily. These horrific deaths involve a wild beast appearing from inside the body, and they think it's a blessing. Yeah, this was the cultists that we met. That insane old man, Remus, he also spoke of some goddess. True, Jot told me of that creature 
who knows, perhaps the, his words touched people more deeply than anyone imagined. What is this kingdom the prophet is building? I only heard fragments of conversation. I think it's not a kingdom exactly, more like a community or a cult. I'm afraid that we'll need to find one of their barkers and ask them if we if we wish to find out more. Okay. The people will believe whatever they want to believe. Leave the poor souls be. Troubling news indeed. We must find out who or what is behind this goddess and her faith. Chaotic good is absurd and dangerous for the people to consider death a blessing. We must get to the bottom of this. Awful neutral. I cannot allow my subject to be taken in by such nonsense. I shall deal with these provocations immediately. Yeah, of course, we'll take this. Good. Perhaps after uncovering this mystery, we'll find out more about the nature of the curses have hanging over the stolen lands. I mean, there must be a reason that these cultists should about you shout about you receiving the goddess punishment if we wish to understand we must find one of those barkers and learn from them all we can okay sadly these street preachers scare quite easily and avoid our guards i'll begin my search without delay when you find time look for me on the streets of the capital i hope that when we meet, I will have already found someone who can tell us more about this strange goddess and her followers. Okay. Yeah, I can. I can remember. This is this is a, a stupid, stupid curse. Okay, let's manage our kingdom affairs, and then let's stop for today. I think this belongs to the main quest, what we are currently doing. Herbalist, success, plus five to economy, great. The advisor was able to forge a good deal with the foreign visitors. The earth is bearing fruit, the treasury is being filled and everyone is happy. This is one of the... Visitors. Okay, two more events. What's that? That's a problem. Mystic circles. Mysterious news. The local citizens are complaining of gigantic multicolored mushrooms. Circles of such mushrooms were found far away from dwellings, but now they've begun to grow on the walls and roofs of local houses. Use an advisor, yeah, yeah, whatever. Only Harem can do this. Interesting. Livestock. This is also a problem. Interesting. Livestock is mysteriously dying off throughout the region. Ulcers appear on the animal's muscles. Their bites grow damp with sweat and they die within the week. Whole herds are dying. The local people are facing famine. Choose an advisor to, yeah, whatever. Tristan can do this. He's got a plus nine, that's good. So, we require 14, we have a plus nine, so it's a five or better. Oh no, it's a DC 20. Ugh, it's an 11 or better. Let's put one crisis point in, then we've got better chance. So this event, this takes three days. This takes 13 days. Trade agreement with Megavon. Yeah, why not? Two building points per week. That's okay. Let's do this. Yeah, we can't afford this anyway, so... Hmm. 
What's up with the nature of the curse channel 10? These cost so much time. This is terrible. Okay. Um, let's just say we stop for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I will go to sleep afterwards and then we'll put on again next week and uh, next yeah next week about installment of this week until then see you bye